Well, welcome back to another video tutorial here at Geek and Play Studios. My name is Gary Miller. We've got a fun moto tutorial, or rather um, string of tutorials, uh, on how to create this very simple prop, a book. Now, the modeling process of this is, without a doubt, uh, very basic, very elementary. But what I'm also going to go through in this tutorial is UV mapping it and texturing it in Photoshop and then bringing everything together in the shader tree in Modo and showing you how it works. Now for anyone who is a regular Modo user um, probably a lot of this is much of what you already know but for someone who's new to Modo or for someone who doesn't quite grasp the whole UV process or how the shader tree works in Modo then you might find this of tremendous interest. And we're going to be creating a bump map, specularity map, and assigning all those various um, uh, textures to this object here in Modo. So that is the project that I've got set out. And let me pause for a minute. I'm going to close this out and start up with a new scene. All right, so starting off in a new scene, I'm going to grab my cube tool and stretch out a cube here. Let me zoom out and make this of some considerable size. All right, now the size is the proportions I'm going to choose for this. Uh, I came across this just because it's visually appealing and it's a four to three aspect ratio. So along the x-axis, I'm going to choose 3 inches, and it'll probably, yeah, it's converting it to metric by 4 inches. Enter R key to bring up my scale tool. Now I'll just scale up. There we are. And I'm going to center this into my, my scene. Okay, come to a perspective view. There we are. And use my thicken tool. And I'll just drag upwards to a level or a height that, hmm, let me see. Nah, I'll leave it about there. That looks good enough for a, a big book. Come to Edge Mode, select those two edges, be on the keyboard, and I want a, round, a roundness level of three. Now, this is going to be the spine of the book, so I just want about like that. There we are. Select those edges, uh, B on the keyboard, and on this I want a roundness, roundness level of 4. I'm going to zoom in here, and I'm just going to click and drag, and there we are. All right, uh, come to polygon mode. <clears throat> I'm going to select all of these top polygons, and all of these along the bottom, Control X. I'm going to add a new mesh item, control V, paste it in there. Come back to the remainder of our book here. I'm going to come to a wireframe view, come to a front view. I'm going to select all of these uh, vertices, R on the keyboard, and I'm just going to reverse this profile uh, about like that. Back to perspective view. Now I've got the profile that I want for my book. Come back to the outside of my book. I guess I can come back to a shaded view and into edge view. I'm going to select these two edges which are now obviously short. Let's come to a uh, right view. That'll work. W on the keyboard and I'll just drag this out beyond the edges of this profile here which are the pages in the book. And with this mesh, whole mesh selected, I'm going to hold down Alt, Shift, and A to select all of them. R on the keyboard, and I'm just going to increase the, um, the other sides of the book. Probably not that much. Let me see. Yeah, you know what? I am going to do it that much. That means I'm going to stretch this out a little bit more. Okay, I like that. Hide the pages, and I'll uh, let me name these. I'll call this pages, and I'll call this 
cover. Okay, with the cover selected and in edge mode, I'm going to select that edge and the same one on the other side. B on the keyboard around this level of zero, and I'm going to stretch this. Let me see, on this level of one, actually. I'm going to stretch this out like that. Now I've got two vertices here. So join average and I should have two vertices here. Join average. Let me come in on this end as well. Two vertices. Yep. Two vertices. Join average. And where are they? There should be right there two vertices join average okay come back to edge mode and I want to select that edge and the same one on the other side R on the keyboard and I'm just going to bring this in just create a little dimple uh, like you see on uh, textbooks Now, uh, come to polygon mode, and I'm going to add a little thickness to this. This is just the this little flaw here. That's just the pages uh, poking through. I'm going to use the thicken tool, click and drag outwards a little bit, and let's get a visual look at this. Guess it could be maybe perhaps a little bit thicker. Spacebar, okay. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna save my progress. Let's call this book. Okay, back into edge mode and on the cover layer, let me hide the pages. I'm going to double click all of these edges to select everything here. And I put a little radius on this. Add a little, add a little edge bevel. Everything selected? Yes. All right. Uh, B on the keyboard. Let's try a, um, a round this level of two. That's two. Click and drag. In the viewport and that looks good. O on the keyboard to bring up my um, visibility I'm going to turn off the grid because now I got to go and select some edges and uh, and some polygons. Okay let's come over here into the UV layout mode. Uh, let me scoot this over. I've got a bunch of polygons I need to start selecting now. Okay, I'm going to select the inside here first. This, none of this will be visible really, so I'm just going to go ahead and get this part out of the way. It's the easiest to select all these edges, and that's it. Just hold down Shift and add all your selections. Projection View Tool. I'm going to use a planar projection, and let's see what looks good. Let's try Z. And I'm going to click on my Relax tool. Ah. Uh, Shift H to hide the ones that aren't selected. And using a projection, uh, using the projection tool uh, with a planar projection setting along the Z axis, this is what it gives us. Click the Relax tool, and now I'm going to lay these out horizontally, which you can do by orient pieces which brings up this box and do it horizontally and click OK you gotta go through all those dumb steps here I just click my own vertical horizontal I added these little tools in there uh, saves me a whole bunch of mouse clicks and I'm just going to set those there you on the keyboard to unhide everything now these are selected I'm gonna H press the H button to hide them I'm gonna come back into a modeling view edge mode and I guess I could save who knows power might go out 
Okay, I'm not going to select any of the edges here on the outside, uh, or at least not try, try to. I'm going to be doing it all on the inside. So double click there, double click there. Let me spin around upside down. Double click there. And I've got to do the same around here. And double click there. And everything is selected. Uh, but I do have more selected than what I really want. But I found it's easier to deselect items than it is to select items. So I'm going to hold down Control and just unselect all of these. Hold down Control, deselect all of those, all of those. And I don't want any edges on the outside selected. I want them all selected on the inside. So deselect all of that. And uh, that's inside. Let's see what we got out here. Zoom in. No, that's inside. OK, let's spin around to the other corner here. We can deselect that. Deselect all of these. Hold down Control to do that. And deselect that and that. And deselect that one and all of these. And that one. And all of those. Let's see what we've got here. Uh, I don't need any of these selected. these selected so I'll just deselect them okay so let's look at the selection that I've got all my selections are on the inside of the book and none of them on are on the outside and they come here uh, you know they, they they come across the inside and wrap around the outside and stop at the cover and what that will do is uh, UV view and I'm going to click on my unwrap tool and what that has done is if you follow the outlines you see how it has cut uh, created seams here on this cover mesh spacebar to drop the tool I'm going to click my relax tool because you can always relax your mesh that's always helpful and uh, so, uh, position it horizontally and now I have really uh, from the uh, from what I have experimented with uh, uh, a UV layout that is absolutely perfect for receiving a texture a texture that we're going to be applying to it in Photoshop so you on the keyboard to unhide all of my polygons uh, let me select these <clears throat> and I'm going to bring these right up there Our key and I'm going to scale these up till they're well, approximately the same size there we are and bring them straight down so loop select everything bring it up and I do need to scale it down just a tad and let's move it over a bit okay come back to a model view open up my pages here and in polygon mode control X to remove all those from that layer control V and paste them into my cover layer so coming back to UV layout view double click those double click those H on the keyboard to hide them select all of those and I'm going to use a uh, planar projection click in the viewport and let's relax these uh, arrange them vertically actually select that now I'm gonna hit my W key and I want to remove these from the rest of this mesh but I gotta make sure tear off is enabled if it's not and you try to move it around it's still connected so make sure tear off is enabled W key and you can just rip it off and I'm just gonna posi position these over one another because they're all going to receive the exact same texture. 
U on the keyboard to unhide everything. And we'll move this right over here so that it fills up our UV area. And that is it. In just a couple of minutes, we've got our our UV map for our for our model. And in the next, let me save that. In the next video, we're going to be applying some textures, uh, creating some textures actually in Photoshop, all from scratch, uh, using some internet resources which are free. And uh, we'll be able to create that great looking book cover that I uh, displayed earlier. So that's it for this first tutorial. Thanks for watching here at Geek and Play Studios. My name is Gary Miller and I'll see you on the next one.